So it's been a while since we've had an iteration into this series. I'm curious, do I have to have played the first Rage, or do I need a refresher course before I go into Rage 2? Uh, no. We've engineered everything in Rage 2 for people who have not played Rage 1. From the story, you know, you play as somebody different. You play as a character named Walker. Come back soon, Walker. From the way the world works, to gunplay, to everything, Rage 2 stands on its own. So the world of Rage 2, it, it's kind of changed from the first Rage, and it looks more vibrant, it looks more beautiful. Tell me what went into creating this post-apocalyptic wasteland. So we really wanted to evolve the wasteland in Rage 2. We, we wanted to get away from just the desert. In the original Rage, it was very uh, brown and dusty and desert-like, where in Rage 2, as you can see, there's forests now growing, and we have swamps and mm -hmm. lakes and things. Yeah, so we really try to make the world a little more fun. And, because uh, the apocalypse should be fun. The apocalypse should be fun. Yeah, this post apocalypse. Is, so we've actually called this the post post apocalyptic shooter. Those worlds, of course, are immensely beautiful, but they're active. They're dynamic. What have you guys put into Rage Two to make that world really feel alive and to change your uh, kind of play experience? Even when you're on the roads, you can encounter convoys, you can encounter dynamic races, roadblocks will appear, uh, motorcycle gangs will chase you. And then we also have things that are more than just your linear missions, where we have Mutant Bash TV, where it's a game show where you kill mutants, and of course a whole racetrack. So we really tried to make the world dynamic and to pack it full of fun things to do. All right, well, obviously there's a ton of different environments in this world. There are a ton of different vehicles. But there's one thing that I expect from it, and that's a ton of different weapons and also a ton of different abilities. So I'm going to ask you two things here. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the weapons. That's the easy question. The hard question, and it, there's only one right answer. Is there a BFG hiding somewhere in this game? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Rage 2 does have a BFG 9000. You know, it would not be an id software game, uh, in my opinion, if it, we did not have a BFG. And of course, our other weapons are everything you expect from shotguns to machine guns to sci-fi weapons like, um, you know, the hyper cannon, which is like a rail gun. Uh, and then, of course, the active abilities, slam and shatter and vortex grenade. You have successfully installed ID accession, slam. Here you can see I can use my slam. That's one of my favorite abilities. If you look in the lower left corner of the screen, you can see I have I have four uh, kind of nano abilities that, that I can use. It's a shatter, where I can send uh, enemies flying. Okay. Uh, I have a vortex grenade, I can throw that down and I can jump up the air with that. And I can, of course, throw down a barrier. Using those with the cool weapons, you can really add a lot of variety and uh, your own kind of style to the combat. So lots of different enemies and archetypes to take on? Yes, lots of different enemies, you know, and players will learn strategy. They'll learn what guns work best. They, they'll learn what strategy works best uh, and, and adds a lot of variety to the experience.